Rob, what do you think of the, uh, the disallowed goal? Do you think that was a correct decision? <sighs> do you know what? I've, I haven't seen it. I've been told that it was the correct decision, by, but not by my staff. So, But my staff didn't come in raging or telling me it, you know, uh, it was incorrect. So I take it it was. What do you think? I think there was some irony in the fact that you've got two players injured and the foul being last. That, that, that bit is ridiculous, part of the rule, you know, where two people are down and then you've got to, you, against one of the best teams in the league, you're down to nine men. I, I can't get my head around that. It was two obvious injuries, are just it's mental. Is it a lesson, though, overall that, particularly at this level, you've got to take for chances? Yeah, but you're saying the same things, aren't we, at the moment, which... Uh, which is frustrating, and I feel like we've left points out there today. Not look, Tottenham started really well and really strongly, and, and we didn't come out the traps for the first 10, 12 minutes. But after that, I thought we really grew into the game. We started executing what we planned to do, uh, and we were doing it well. Um, so in the end, I was relatively pleased at half-time, pleased that we're in there, we're in the game. It's nil-nil. Not had any big chances really, in, but apart from that disallowed goal at half-time, that's okay. Uh, the dynamic changed because of the sending off, so uh, it was an opportunity for us then to really to be even more to, to try and be more to be more aggressive. Uh, we felt the change that they did. We, we kind of predicted that. We thought Hoiberg would come on because they'd keep the way they're playing. They just take one more number off their last line. So we changed our shape to go to a back three again, have three against the front two, and then we could be man for man everywhere else and have width with Chio and Alfie. First couple of minutes it worked really well. We had a huge opportunity, a massive chance, which in the end. You know, we didn't take, and we've been we've been punished for because then, you know, we switched off with a short corner as well. Those two those two moments are, are big in the game, uh, and then we did we huffed and puffed and tried. And we had a couple of other big moments um, that we didn't take. So yeah, I'm saying the same things um, at the moment. They're an elite team, and just because then they're down to ten men, it, it doesn't mean right. Go on, just go and win now, Luton. It's it's not that easy. It's you know that's still hard for us, and they're they're very well organised and. But yeah, I do feel like we left something out there. We left points out there today. But do you feel your side are learning from these experiences? And can they learn quick enough to start turning them into points? I hope so. You know, we we've definitely learned. You know, we're getting we're competing in every game. Um, you know, I've said it before. I think we were well beaten against Brighton and Chelsea the first two games of the season. I thought there was good stuff in those games, and you know, people that were there would see that as well. There was positive things, but ultimately we were well beaten. I think since then we've been really competitive in every game. We've shown a lot of good quality. We've created chances. We've put teams under pressure, um, but we've not got enough points that you know to show for um, to show for it really. And I think this week, now Tuesday and today, we've we've left some points out there, which for us, we you know we can't really do, and uh, we do need to learn quickly on that. We need to make sure our mentality is right in every single moment. You know, defending a defending a corner against Tottenham, you've got to be you've got to be at it. Yeah, I say I thought the ten, first 10, 12 minutes I was raging. I wasn't happy. We didn't start well. It's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to be aggressive. We changed how we played. We went with the back four. Clearly, we took a centre back out to, and put another forward on the pitch because we felt it would be the right way to go against them tactically, and it would allow us with our two midfielders, Marvin Pelly and, and Brownie and Chio, who are really honest to, to to deal with the fullbacks that come inside and their two midfield uh, tens, if you like, with Madison and Saar. First 10 minutes, we didn't deal with it well enough. After that, I thought we did. We grew into it and started to look a threat. So getting nil nil, getting in nil nil at half time was was a real positive for us. At the top of the Premier League, they're going to have chances. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're new to it, and I, I was really pleased with a lot of what I saw there. Um, but I'm really I'm really disappointed and flat as well because we we could and maybe should have after the get the way the game went after they missed some chances early doors and then going down to 10 men. The way the game went and with the chances that we missed. We could have got something from the game and should have. Uh, look, I look back at it. It's not, you know, it was a big opportunity for him. But it's us. It's a team. It's us who create the chance. Us together who miss them. And it's not, you know, we've, there's a lot of us who've been guilty of of missing some chances. There was others that were out there today as well that, um, that could have done slightly better in front of goal. Uh, but that was a big moment. Yeah, yeah, it does it short. We talked about um, you know Tottenham being able to do things really, really quickly. They're very bright. 
once he gets turned and he's 1v1 in the box, you know, he, he, he can work a little bit of magic and he did there. But uh, yeah, certainly we can do that. We can defend that moment better. Yeah, uh, I'll have to see how he is. I think he was holding his hamstring again, so it would be another one for us to, to look at. As I say, we've... Sorry. We've... Um, it's been a busy little period for us. We've had three Premier League games in a week. We've had the long journey down to Exeter in there, and, you know, the level is intense now. And we're asking the player, We're asking a lot of the players, and we push, and um, they push themselves really, really hard. Um, we'll have to assess him and see how he is. Hopefully he's not too bad, but... You know, it was disappointing to have to make, to be forced into making that change. Well, you mentioned yesterday, I think it was, that Andrew Townsend's training with you at the minute was going to play another 21 game last night. Is this the national break a chance to sort of thrash things out of him and hopefully get him on board and you know, some extra quality, I guess, in the final third? Potentially, we'll see. You know, I said it yesterday as well, it's got to be right for him as well. Um, so we'll have a look and see how that goes. Did, did he play last night? He did play last night, yeah. Yeah, played a full game. No, not at all. Because we're, you know, we're we're competing well and performing well. If we weren't performing well, we were getting battered every week. That I think would be difficult, you know. But I don't see that at the moment. I don't think any of you would say you see that. You see a team that's fighting. You see a team that's committed. Um, of course, today. You know, there was a few chances early on in the game, but then after that, I thought he's, you know, we looked, we looked a good team. You, they're going to have the lion's share of possession, the quality that they've got. You know, that's just how it is. We're mainly, in, especially in this league, we were last year, but mainly in this league, we're going to be an out of possession team that's got to be organised and try and hurt teams with our strengths when we can. Um, so now I'm seeing good performances. I'm seeing a lot of stuff. It's just, you know, it's it, the the points are then really what. what keeps the belief there as well. Um, but no, this is still early enough now to make sure that as, uh, the, the, the belief remains. We've got time now to get a little bit of work done together. Obviously, if you go off an international shoot, but we can, we can get some good work in. We need to recover, get some bodies back. Um, and we go again. Or, you know, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We wanted this. You know, We got promoted and we wanted to be here and, and test ourselves against the big boys. And, and we're doing that. And I'm really enjoying it. And the lads are. If you ask them, really, they're loving it. You know, they're loving it, but we don't like losing. We don't like losing. I've got to make that clear. Um, so let's keep working hard, keep improving, which we are doing, um, and we'll pick up points. And like you mentioned, that international break, maybe after a busy schedule, better time to maybe reset and a not great looking few weeks after the international break. Fixture. Yeah, look, every game, every game's difficult anyway. I don't, I don't, it's hard. What's the point in looking at the schedule? You know, what have we got next? Well, it doesn't matter. It's hard. You know, it's difficult. So, um, yeah, I know the next couple of games, but then don't look too far ahead at the moment, because um, because every one of them present a different problem and, um, and a challenge, but one that we're really looking forward to, and it's it also presents an opportunity to get points and win games as well. Thank you. Bye guys. Cheers, Thank guys. You. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.